this company essentially founded by Rafa Pignoli. Well, yeah, we've done a lot of projects all over the places, and as you can see in the many projects, that we don't have particular style. That every project is very unique, so we don't try to copy and paste different idea of the shape from like another project. We always have the fresh mind and uh, go on to the project with its own uniqueness. Well, obviously the communication is very important. That everyone has to be on the same page. So before, the way we communicated the three D models was to um, step by step. We zip the three D model. We send it sometimes through Hightail or WeTransfer or FTP or Dropbox or many different methods of file transfer by using Modelo that can do a lot of what we used to do in the different software in single platform. Not everyone we work with works in Rhino directly, but it's so it's more difficult to send them the actual Rhino file and have them look at it. But if you have the Modelo up and they can see it and you can tag something and ask them to look at it, it's a great way of like shortcutting that process and making sure we're all looking at the same physical 3D thing. It's a really, really easy way especially with the amount of design iterations and updates that we have. It's a really easy way to upload something and instead of writing a paragraph trying to explain what you just fixed, just to put a comment and say, look at this part specifically, is this what you had in mind? Yeah, um, I think Modelo can be an integral part of any phase because we, our office is set up with different branches where people are physically in different spaces a lot. It helps to be able to quickly, again, like translate it, upload it, share it without actually sending the physical file. It is part of the uh, design interaction with the client where the client always wants to be part of the design process. But Modelo kind of help to get themselves into the 3D space and navigate through. That just simply excites them so much. I, I remember one um, proposal that we were doing where we had an, an automated parking system and it was really hard to communicate with our client what exactly this would be like uh, and they weren't in New York so it was hard to set up a one-on-one -on -one meeting. It's definitely allowed us to have a much better communication especially with specific things like that um, with clients who are not necessarily in the same city. Because I'm traveling a lot on the business and I'm on the world um, with my phone but not necessarily with my computer. It's been difficult to communicate, receiving and sending the update uh, or the adjustment to the 3D models. But Modelo helped to uh, the process of the communicating the 3D model just through the form. Because having to download the file, of course you could do that, but it takes much longer, a lot of data, while the group simply preview the model in Modelo space. One time when Satoshi was traveling and he had no, he didn't have a strong internet connection on his laptop and there was no way for him to really download the Rhino model. So I uploaded it um, and just sent him the comments and he was able to verify what we had done was right because we were talking about adjusting certain parts of the design. So, and he just did it on his phone while he was at the airport. So something like that. I don't know how we would have communicated before Modelo. So that was actually a pretty life-saving moment. And it's also within our own team has helped a lot to be able to send again if someone on the team is traveling but needs to see the update or if there's a presentation happening um, where it isn't the team, you know, the people are traveling to make that presentation. It's a really great way to send the 3D back and forth for everyone to be looking at it at the same time. I would describe it as a web-based platform that makes communication in 3D extremely efficient. Modelo helps everyone to be part of 3D modeling collaboration effort.